Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast first round Group F game between Teddy Tom and his Elven Union up against Shirts with his Undead team. You can see um, that Teddy Tom chose to won the toss and chose to kick. He's taken four dodge players, a wrestle catcher, a strip ball catcher and a sure hands thrower. Shirts has got two guard mummies, tackle white, two block ghouls, and a wrestle ghoul. 13 players, four ghouls, standard kind of build. You can see the uh, rings here, so the green ones are the ghouls, yellow for whites, red for mummies, as if you couldn't tell them, uh, yellow for the blitzers, and cyan for the catchers. Purple? Is that purple for the thrower? There we go. Unconventional. Yeah, the uh, the Elven Union I am not a fan of. I, I cannot condone picking Elven Union when they are in the same tier as Wood Elves. I feel like it's just a definite mistake. I, they can't they can't be in the same like i think it was a mistake by the people who made the rules pack like putting them in the same tier right because they're not the same tier as what else <laughs> so then if you're choosing them that has to be a mistake right i think it's a mistake oh good job he made it three dice and a removal slightly problematic to expose the ghoul there He's handing off. Oh my goodness. I thought he was just going to blitz. He got it back. <laughs> oh my god. I just thought he was going to blitz with him. He hasn't blitzed, has he? I just thought he was going to blitz. I thought he was going to blitz. And then go back into the cage. Like, you know, like, uh, you know, it back here. I thought that was like, I thought this is why this was a triangle. And he was going to blitz and he was going to go back in here. And then he was just handing off and got it back. <laughs> he got it back to himself. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my God. Sorry. Right, here we go. Comes round the back for a wrestle. 1D. Puts the reroll in. Only a push. Wow. What a wild... What a wild turn one. <laughs> I mean, hand off's okay, right? It's a bludger. Like, it's not wrong to hand it off. But I just thought he was going to blitz, so I was bamboozled when it was a hand off. Just all men's contact here from Pro Elves on turn one, standard. This is like how people who play Pro-Ls like to play them, isn't it? Just base everything. Um, interesting that like the, you'd expect this to be a blitzer, wouldn't you, on, on here? He's got them away. Not basing the mummies, because it'll get smashed to pieces. Ah, so with Blue Max saying he's a you know, knowing stuff about him, I imagine Teddy Tom is a PlayStation, yep, yeah, PlayStation World Cup Open is how we qualified, UK. And uh, Shirts is USA Crenball Worlds Qualifier is how he qualified. Thanks, so okay. good. Yeah. Shirts has been playing a lot in the NAF ladder um, in preparation for this. Or just for fun, but you know, I presumably for preparation for this. <laughs> That's why I was ostensibly playing in it, but uh, I don't know how much I've got out of it. I feel like I've not been playing my best recently. 
very uh, much trepidation for me concerning the World Cup. <laughs> USA versus PlayStation. Oh, Dimmy. Don't, Dimmy, don't. <laughs> um, I mean, this is a tough turn, right? I imagine he's trying to visualise where everything's going to be at the end of the turn, right? This is this is the this is the problem that you have versus pro elves and Skaven and Wood Elves that like base you like this is you have to know what your team like you know what your board position is going to be at the end of the turn and I guess he figured it was okay to leave the hit as long as he's got guards there it's okay to leave the mummy in base because it'll get well it'll get one deed um, yeah. I feel like this zombie should have come here, right, to stop the mummy getting one D. Sides, then other things could happen. It does power this blitzer though? And removes him. And oh god, I wish I, I wish I could ever do that. Honestly, <laughs> whenever I play pro elf coaches, they base with their they base with their blitzers, and they never ever ever get powered and never get removed. But uh, two players down already. Shirts will be happy with that. But we could. You know, we could see a ball sack instantly here. There's a few things that could be done. Going for the one D. He gets the full pow. <laughs> so that gives him like a one. Oh, he's just doing it with that guy. He could have done it with strip, right? He's got a stripper here. He could have dodged away and then come in with a strip for a one D. Yes, Cosmigo, I did start with it. I think I think what I'm gonna try and do is just have them for a bit, right? Because I think they they detract a bit, right? They're a bit they're a bit garish, like which is fine because you can tell who's who, right? But I think it's a bit much to have it on like all the time, right? Three two made from that catcher and that gives him one D, which gets the full power. Catches it on a lineman. Bases that mummy, but he's got the ball. He's got the ball. Yeah, it's like it's pretty strong, isn't it? Right, them all having all the circles. It's like instantly <laughs> knocked over and a B broken. Nope. Hmm. And is this better on mobile? I guess you mostly just see the circles, eh? Hmm. 
I'm so not sure about the circles. I, I'll try and leave them for a couple of turns, and then hopefully you can kind of recognise things. I guess the skeletons, the well, the the whites are like the hardest, right? Yeah. I, I mean, I could put these on, you know, like the red and blue. It is a bit hard, isn't it? But I mean, I thought at first I thought they were different, right? Black and white versus yellow and green, but. I guess it's the skin colour of the undead makes it all quite close. So I do red and blue. I mean, again, could just leave it on for a bit so you can kind of get your bearings if you're not. I'll try. I'll try and. I'll try and toggle them every now and then. <laughs> it is kind of hard, yeah. They, they kind of. It's weird because they are different, right? Black and white halved is quite different to yellow and green. But then when they're actually there in the on the pitch, the it all does kind of be pretty hard to tell them apart. It's easier to tell, I think, with red and blue and no rings. But I think once you add both rings and then plus the colours... Red and blue makes a huge difference. Okay, we'll go red and blue. We'll go red and blue. I mean, this is what it's for, right? If it's tough to tell the teams apart, and if it's tough to tell them apart, which I think it is as well, then uh, let's let's do this. Oh. oh my god, Dub Skulls. Just pushes. That is bad news for the undead. That's making it very hard for them to recover this ball. Very hard. The Blitzer's here, so we can't really hit him. Well, can't hit him now. And he gets a push. He does sidestep. This is a catcher, the strip ball catcher. Cast. <laughs> Man, this is a weird game for the undead, isn't it? They've, they've cast a catcher, they've KO'd two players. They've cast the stripper as well, but the ball's already on the floor. And, you know, if, if, if it gets scattered and the elves get it, they're away and they've won. It really is a, a very uh, finely balanced game. Pretty typical of Pro Wells, to be fair. This is kind of what what happens. Yeah, I mean, you know, undead kill things more than most, right? With mummies. Oh, double one. <laughs> Instant snakes to start the turn. And that is going to make this drive a lot easier for the undead. They clear that, they've got the block pick up. They can make some more blocks with block, they can got mummy hits. This might completely secure the drive. Strip is already removed. Yeah, opening your opening your uh, turn with snakes is not a great decision. Honestly, you should just simply choose to never roll snakes. Oh, okay. I don't like this because this is surely the guy picking up the ball, right? This this mummy could have gone here first, or here, or somewhere, right? Like somewhere so that if you fail if you fail the pickle, you've got stuff covered like that. That this. Should have just gone first, right? This uh, this zombie move should have gone there before the blitz to just have him out there, that sort of thing. Bit a bit slack ordering there. <laughs> 
sorry, Truk. Uh, I'm I'm really good at Blood Bowl, so I I just choose to never ever snake. Sorry. Or or I'll do it sometimes when you know it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you saw my game versus Dimmy, perfect example, right? I rolled the odd one with my Lima, and it didn't matter. No problem. Um, all the important rolls, never double one. Never ever double one in the important. Role. It's, uh, top top strats there for you. If you want to play elves. Honestly, if anyone plays elves in this tournament and doesn't snake, they'll probably win. <laughs> that's, that's probably how good not rolling a snake is. <laughs> if literally any 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 uh, elf coach in this tournament went the whole tournament without rolling a snake, they'd probably win the tournament. Yep, I think that's fair to say. Not putting with tackle. We've got this is tackle, isn't it? Yeah. I've got literally no idea. It was just a, it was just a one. Yeah, it's not not it wasn't a, it wasn't snakes. There's just not that much dodge on the team, is there? That's the, the that's the funny thing. One of the blitzes is gone. Alright, so I'm gonna get right up full Venga bus. Is ah, so that's why I didn't blitz the tackle because he wanted to get him in there. Ah, he's very secure, isn't it? He? he could have. Ooh, do you know what? I know he wanted to move this guy here, but if he'd moved him in there, this would be a three dice on the uh, on the blood stepper. But he just pals him instantly anyway. Could foul him honestly, right? He's got he's got thirteen players. Don't hate this foul at all. Moves him. So now the, both the blood steppers are off. So there's no harassing players anymore. There's only seven players on the field. Four of them started on the like prone, so yep, this is uh, looking very rough for the pro elves. I mean, just the drive. The the game is still winnable, isn't it? It's only the drive that's. Winnable. Oh, okay, now now the game's looking a bit worse as well because he's just. <laughs> He's just given the undead a 14th player with that block. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Oh, Chun Li one. Yep, Krenbol. Krenbol looking pretty dominant at the moment. I don't like that he's not getting mummy hits, right? Like, I get that there is guards, um, but you can position in such a manner that you only need one guard for your cage. So. With that in mind, it's probably a good thing to uh, get one of them fighting at least.
I mean, yeah, the, the 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 tackler was too far away for this guy, but yeah, I would I would have hit this guy with 3D, hundred percent. Or the ta the tackler could have gone back and blitzed this guy. Yeah, yeah, tackle back to here, or we move to there. The fact that it was turn six means mummy forwards. This is pretty brutal. <laughs> Only a stun. That's a that's a godsend for him at this point. Every other guy's been removed instantly. <laughs> Him into fouling range as well. Yeah. Can two do him into a mummy hit as well? So. Very, 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 very strong. Though a little less strong now. It looks like he's going to the next cage. Without guard. So after using the mummies to have, you know, guard and uh, venger bussing and stuff, all throughout the other parts of the drive, now all of a sudden, and he's right at the end, it's basically letting... Uh, letting... Teddy Tong come in for a 1D with Wrestle here, relatively easily. Interesting. Oh, Kaz. <laughs> I'd have definitely fouled this one, by the way. I'd have definitely, like... Not caged up here, but caged here, and then fouled this guy. And uh, that would have been a, a cast catcher, which would have been very nice. And also the cage would have been a full Venger bus. Whereas now it's a little bit weak. It's a little bit weak to the cage dive. But my god. Just a massacred team. <laughs> <laughs> Instant one. Saves his reroll for the one turn. He couldn't and maybe should have done. Yeah. But of course he could have just double wand and died. So, <laughs> you know, maybe he shouldn't have. Every game is, yeah, exhibition, uh, res resurrection, right? So everything's resurrection, so all injuries are healed and no SPPs are added. So everyone will have, you know, <laughs> essentially balanced teams for the whole tournament, though I did not think Proels were balanced. I think Proels were just not as good as Wood Hills. But, you know, Pro Elves are one of those teams where the people who like Pro Elves really like Pro Elves. And, like, you know, they become not people who play Blood Bowl, but play Blood Bowl with Pro Elves. There's, there's lots of people like it, so I'm guessing Teddy Tom is one of those people who just really likes Pro Elves. And, uh, you know, he's using them rather... <laughs> No, no, there are people in the world, right, Dimmy G, like Galentio and stuff, right? Like, people who like Pro Elves really tend to really like Pro Elves. Um, and there was some on Fumble as well that were just, you know, people... Uh, what's he called? Uh, was it Mad Jake? Did he play Pro Elves all the time on 
football too. Some people who like that really like just having. Honestly, I've I've noticed it with Proyles more than other more than other teams. I guess because you know Wood Elves are good. <laughs> <laughs> so people use what else because they're good <laughs> but they use pros because they really like them um, yeah <laughs> so he's using the whole method but it's uh, still completely possible quick snap did not have a secondary. So th this guy over here could have been here, and then this guy could have been there, and then he could have quick snapped forward. Always got to think about the quick snap when you're doing the one turns here. I mean it was there wasn't it and actually there was no need for him to get the ball to him early because he's got uh, nose of steel so it was fine waiting to get the ball to him yeah the, the wood elves are just so much better like so much better they they can start with up to four dodge well up to six dodge right they can just start with six dodge for free like for free they start with six dodge and yeah okay their pros get more strength than than wood elves and they get sidestep but sidestep isn't that good strength isn't that good dodge is that good block is that good war dances are that good it's like it's so hard to pick pro elves ahead of wood elves but some people just like them yeah he's got a daca here even if you know it might not it might be someone that doesn't like the daca but with uh nine players against undead i think you have to do Yep, exactly true, yeah. It's crazy, like, you know, dancers have always been completely insane. Like, Wood Elves dominated tabletop for 20 years. Like, absolutely dominated tabletop for 20 years. And it's, they're still right at the top of win right now because they tend to be Tier 2 instead of Tier 1. They're just a monster team. Like, who knew having 8, 3, 4, 7 blodge leap players was good? When no one else can stack, and then you get to stack on top of Blodge Leap. Like, it's kind of crazy. Oh, it just starts with a pass. It looks like he's going for the quick score. Is it going to wander your. Uh, yeah, wrestle the ghoul? Yep, gets him. This is one way you really want to cut the corner here, right? So he's not, he's, he's done it with him instead. You'd, you'd have rather had these two swapped around, but to do that, you'd have had to move the blitzer first and cut the corner. So it was very sensible to, uh, you know, to make the better ordering. That leaves him with a slightly less strong position, but 
without the 3% chance of absolute disaster. Yeah, I mean, w Wood Elves are completely great, honestly. Completely great in this format. Maybe the best. Undead are pretty great, right? Like, Block and Dodge are, are, are cornerstones of it. They get Block and Dodge. Ghouls. They get Strength 5 Mighty Blow guys to just win with, you know, just high roll. Smash people. Um, Lizards are great because they have seven strong guys. They get to give them more block as well, which is insane. Six blocks. Souls is incredible. Orcs are still decent, right? Just orcs, because orcs are just good in general. And then Wood Elves and Dark Elves. It's pretty good. Pretty good just rolling two pluses to win games. Yeah, Wood Elves specifically are probably the best. I mean. But I want to learn how to play Dark Elves, so I chose Dark Elves. Necro are okay for this, yeah. They're okay. Getting, um... You know, they get 4 guard and 3 block, which is what they need. The problem is they're very brittle, right? Because they're uh, they only get either eleven players or twelve players, but only one ghoul. So whatever happens, they're a bit brittle, and they're susceptible to just you know, like with only three people who can score, it's rough. With only eleven players, if they lose anybody, it's really tough. So. So he's, he's going to stall another turn? He's just moving them before he thinks about it. Exactly true, yeah. I mean, that's why I chose them. But, um... Yeah, that is that is what I thought. That was my thinking. That was exactly my thinking. And then, of course, the, the, what you've got to think is you've got to you've got to think. <laughs> do I need the free win matches, right? And the thing is, I think you probably do, no matter how good you are or how good you think you are. You probably do need the free win matches. So I think I did done goof by taking Dark Elves. I mean, to be fair, they do they still do get free matches. Obviously everybody does, right? Everyone can dice people and stuff. But they don't get the same amount of free wins as like Skaven and Wood Elves do. And even Undead, right? Undead just get Blast people out with mummies, and then it's basically a free win. Lizards as well. Like uh, all the ba the bash teams get more free wins than dark elves, I think. Yeah, yeah. Del Dells are they're a strange team. Oh, we've got an aggressive set up so we could see something happen <laughs> oh doesn't catch it but gets the touchback and he's got seven turns to score now shirts so i definitely bet on him to win this but you never know the pro elves could make something happen Yeah, the Delve one turn is pretty terrible, pretty much non-existent, right? The Delve one turn. And uh, okay, well he's not doing it. What he could have done was this ghoul could have blitzed him, pushed him to there, then the zombie could have pushed him to there, and then the ghoul could have served him, which is certainly what I would have tried to do.
The Delve one turn is better than the Undead one turn, yes. I'd also bet on the guy that's, that's winning to win. I mean, it's 1-1. One, one. He's not actually winning yet, Dimmy. But, I mean, he's got a lot more players and he's got the ball. But he's not winning. <laughs> it's 1-1. One, one. But yeah, I mean, he's a huge favourite, isn't he? He's absolutely huge favourite at this point. But you never know, right? Like, you never know. What's this? I don't know. Three, three, two, four. Yeah, also, I don't know. I could try things like that. They could work. Removal. Instant. Ghoul gone. Never give up. I mean, this is the thing, right? He's not going to give up. He can't give up. He, you know, he's got to just battle for everything. And might get lucky. Yeah, I've played. Uh, I've played shirts in the uh, in the math ladder. I think I might have lost to him. I can't remember. I think what I would have definitely done if I was him, though, is put the tackler back in the hole. Put the tackler back in here so that he can't get blitzed out or something. Uh, Olivier Dulac, Niagara is in this group and therefore the favourite that is no disrespect to anybody else in the group but when the guy who's been number one ranked in NAF for like years is in the group he's the favourite isn't he <laughs> yeah. I disagree when people say being number one ranked in the NAF makes you the best player in the world. I think that's kind of a silly thing when they say that you know, he's the best player in the world. But um, he's obviously very good at Woodhull and it's very good to remain number one ranked in NAF for an extended period of time. Like Dave Orr was third and then fell to 43rd after a bad Euro Bowl, whereas Olivier Delac you know, is still number one. For years. I don't know how long, but a long time. Olivier is playing with us and not Skaven, yeah. And I don't really like his build either. But, um, you know. He's still definitely the favourite. Hello, Fluffy Burrito. I'm just 100% dedicated to... Uh, Casting the World Cup. Yep.
I honestly have no idea what the rankings are in NAF or what they mean or anything, but uh, yeah. I mean, they mean they mean more than nothing. They definitely mean more than nothing, right? Because it's harder to be ranked first than it is to be ranked five hundred. <laughs> So they don't mean absolutely nothing. But they also just don't mean a lot. Like it's not like being ranked I don't think you know, I don't think being rated like two fifty means anything. Like, <laughs> like if somebody's good they're good. This is a really weird team split by shirts here. He's already made his blitz, so he's just stranded these four players away. Indeed, Truk, yeah, like, that's what I mean, like, you know, it, it, but also more than, I mean, I mean if, you number, if you've been number one for an extended period of time, obviously you're good, but I feel like that's more important than, you know, seeing somebody's 250, I just don't think saying this guy's 250 means that this guy's good, right, like, I don't, I just don't, but I know Olivier is good, <laughs> in addition to him, uh, you know, everything else, so. And yes, maybe good's the wrong word. But top tier. Top tier. I, uh, I saw a rating, I saw a rating on NAF. I saw a NAF rating. I'll tell you what a NAF rating. You can have a rating of about 230 and not be very good at all. So, there is that. Yeah. Oh no. I mean, he's good at blood ball. He's he's obviously good at blood ball now. I mean, he's yeah. Of course he is. Yep. 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 Very good at blood ball. I mean, you can watch his. You can watch him playing Skaven in Super League and uh, on my YouTube and watch him playing Chaos in Ladder. Well, in the uh, playoffs on my YouTube. He's, he's obviously a very good blood ball player. Yeah. I mean, you can't just be a one-trick. There's no such thing as a one-trick pony, really, honestly. You can't be good at Skaven without being good at blood ball. You just can't. Like, it's not, it's not a thing. Um, it is really weird. It is really weird. But, I mean, that, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? That if he's just taking this more seriously and he takes tabletop, right? Maybe he just likes Skaven more and plays literally the team that he likes more rather than the team that would give him, he thinks would give him a better chance. And now with this being for, you know, first place getting over 2,000 euros, 8,000 euros total in prizes, maybe he just thought, oh, I'd better take what's best. And that's, that's what else. <laughs> Makes you wonder, doesn't it?
because this is definitely higher stakes than any uh, any tabletop tournament. Well, we've got a blood stepper on the ball, and the tackler is occupied with another player. Uh, admittedly, it is a dodger, but still. Yeah, yeah, enough ranking isn't nothing, right? It, it isn't nothing. Right, this is turn fourteen. In this kind of, you know, not really talking about the match for a while. <laughs> it's somehow turn 14 and Shirts has not got forward versus eight elves. Now he's still got time. Massive raid, thank you very much, Inarium. Four. He's got a very solid cage, but he has not got forward. He doesn't really have hits here either. So he dodges that ghoul and gets that ghoul forward. And gets to hit a, essentially a defenseless guy. Follows, yeah. I mean, that's pretty strong, isn't it? This looks a lot stronger than it did at the start of the turn, but... Has he left it too late? I feel like he should have been... You know, this looks like a turn 12 kind of position, right? This is... He's messed around for a long period of time here. <laughs> so again, we can just blitz this guy. Base the ball with bodge step. Base out the tackler. And give him problems again. Yeah, seven hours now. Yeah, I feel like, you know, like, elves can get in the way, right? Like, the problem is, elves can just get in the way a bit. And, yeah, he's not, you know, he's not... He isn't anywhere yet, but also, yeah, he's kind of... He's maybe in a... He's maybe... He's not in trouble, but he's he's not as comfortable as he'd like to be, is he? Not? Yeah, that's right. There we go. That's the perfect. Yeah, but again, he's faced minimal resistance. <laughs> so he probably should be further ahead. He probably should be further forward. And crucially, he doesn't have the support, right? Like he's got. These are all movement four and like. Agility 2, they can't do anything. So the players that he's got is a white who's behind the ball. This ghoul. This white. This ghoul. So his actual support for like running forward. Two of them are based. Three of them are based, but can we put one can this one could be cleared? And now he can't be. So now three of them are based. And the ball is based by Blodgstep. And, and, Teddy Tom has a scoring threat for turn 16. Yes, ties are possible, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, this is the uh, group stage. You know, just like, just like the World Cup. Yeah, maybe this does count as trouble, yeah. Maybe it does dreamify. Maybe this does count as trouble now. Good good play by Teddy Tommy, you've got to say, haven't you? He got blasted off the pitch in the first half. Second half, he, uh, he scored quickly, you know, which, you know... It gave him the chance to get the win, right? It gave him the chance to win or lose. 
he could have he could have tried to stall it out. I would have probably just dackered and tried to draw one one, but he he went for the brave route. And now all of a sudden he might do oh only a push. So he stays stuck to the ball. I mean, he can't now, can he? <laughs> he can't plant it between the ball now. He can't plant the ball between mummies now. He's got to, uh, you know, everything's all in the way. He could have maybe blitzed the blitzer with the mummy before, but even if he does, like, everything else is in the way a little bit. He's in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, rushes. I say GFI all the time. I'm trying to say rushes. Tell you what, if Teddy Tom can win this, we're after getting four guys cast. I mean, I think I know what. Shirts has to do here. We'll see if he does it. That, I think, had to be a blitz. I think that had to be a blitz. Eating into his uh, bonus time. Well, I mean, he certainly can't blitz with the with the white anymore. But I I think the white had to blitz there, and then he could have got him up right. He could have got the white up, and then just dodge with the ball, and then have like a full cage basically. This guy could go three in, and then he would have had a full cage here. But now he's not going to have a full cage. all on the dodge isn't it it's all on the dodge well he can he can try to uh he can try oh no he doesn't have to dodge no yeah he does no uh, yeah well, he can try to power him first he can try to power him no he goes to the dodge makes the dodge glorious no i won't give in until i'm victorious and i will defend I will defend. He looks to have just about gotten away with it, doesn't he, here? Shirts. But, I mean, you know, it's just some dice rolls for Teddy Tom. He's got two re-rolls. Oh, he's got to make this rush. Yeah. I even quite like just going in. I wonder which is better. It probably was better going on him, and then, and then you've got to do a 3 2 instead of a 2 2. So it probably was better going in here. Okay, so that that's good. That that stops him just blocking the tackle off. I still go for a 2D with the wrestler though. See what he does. OK, 
Okay, that's nice. That does help. A lot. I mean, he can just come in on a 4 plus for a 1D. Could just come in there, right? Like, that's... This is a few rolls. That was a really good double GFI there, to be fair. Nope. So he's going for the 1D with a wrestler. Makes the 4 plus, makes the 2 pluses. Fails the last rush. Gets the 1D pow! Oh my god. And kills him! <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's alright, innit? <laughs> that's alright. Dead, dead, dead. Yeah, he just. Just bases, and then ugh, the problem is he hasn't got anyone left. Oh, he's got this guy left. Ooh. And then this dude. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Well, that was, I mean, that was pretty incredible, wasn't it? That was a pretty incredible defense there. And yeah, maybe... Maybe that was a bit of a mistake from Shirts. The sidesteps are the yellow, the blitzer. I can't remember what the skills are. The skills one. No, I don't know. Right, so he's blocked with the other ghoul. Now he's got two activated players next to the ball, which makes scattering it very, very, very dangerous. He could just dodge out, pick it up in a five and dodge out again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G of five. Ah, H. There we go. That, too hard to see anything, honestly, there. But uh, yeah, this is the sidestep of the other one. Oh, so he blitzes to get rid of one. And send it to four. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I quite like that actually. Makes the pick up. Yeah, makes the dodge. Makes the pick up. Dodge on the dodge. Makes the dodge. Reroll for the two GFIs. Oh, he fails the last one. Incredible, wasn't it? That was that was pretty incredible. That was pretty incredible. Wow, what a finish! What a finish! And uh, so there you go. Congrats to both. I guess they both get a they both get a point. Uh, you know, they both avoid defeat. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing Teddy Tom is going to feel better than Shirts right now. Um, so close to losing there. And uh, you know, made the heroic, the heroic wrestle sack and kill, and then Teddy, and then uh, shirts nearly got the touchdown with a classic tripwire. Indeed, so there you go. I mean, let's say congrats to both. Well played. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>